Hey there, and welcome back to the Aquatic Dome. Thank you so much for clicking in, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to build the wonderful crocodile habitat, and this is um, a specific habitat over here that is um, not you know, having the focus on the inside of the dome. This is actually the um, single habitat that has the main focus to the outside of the dome. Uh, reason being is just because I didn't have enough space to the inside and I just needed to make sure that we have a focus uh, to one side only. And the cool bit about this build is that I have something that is... Um, yeah, it's different, you know, um, while you have the most of the story going on to the inside of the dome, this is going to be happening a lot more to the outside, and therefore also people um, have a reason to continue the tour to see the crocodiles a bit more um, to the outside. In fact, this is also the um, only habitat that has two underwater viewing opportunities, one to the outside, one to the inside, which is, I think, pretty cool, and uh, brings in a little bit of a, let's say, like a little bit of a variation to the build. Anyhow guys, um, it's it's time to to um, yeah just thank you guys again um, because you know the last the last couple of weeks have been rather intense for me. Um, I don't know you know for those of you who are watching this video right now I don't know how much you've paid attention to the channel but you've seen um, two things. Uh, mainly uh, the first thing is I've I've done a lot a lot of content like a lot of content. Um, I've, I've been able to keep up the daily uploads for most of the days. Um, I think there were a few days of a break in but therefore I had a few more days where we even had like two or even three videos a day which um, definitely is a pace I can't really I can't really keep up. I know I need this pace um, to to have a steady growth. Um, for me, I I don't know why it exactly works this way, um, but my channel kind of uh, fell into into a rhythm of only growing when I have a lot of videos, which for other people it's different. They keep a steady growth um, and keep steady views despite having not that many videos and have a bigger gaps in between. Um, it, it's just natural. I think it's it's how the channel is shaped. I have to say though that next year I will have to so to mix things up a little bit you know um, I've, I'm having a little bit of a different position in my job and I mean not saying that I I didn't uh, focus on my job enough I always did and I always will because that's my first job um, but I think I will have to push even further and I want to push even further which which means also in a uh, you know in fact that I won't have as much time um, and also now I had holidays that's definitely also a second reason um, but yeah it's it's gonna have to change and obviously I will need your support on that uh, meaning that we have to you know figure out how things work the best I want to give you still a lot of content and a lot of good content and, um, but you guys need to let me know how you would love it um, because I figure also the content I pushed out the last couple of day, days has been so much and it only worked so well because you guys potentially also have time at the moment but I definitely want to get back into a rhythm of maybe three videos a week but the, the thing is, I want to alternate my content a little bit more, I want to try out different games um, and I want to, as I said, start a new series here on uh, Planet Zoo as well and then around some updates or major game releases, there will be more videos again. This is this is how I imagine 2021 to work. But again, I would need your guys' uh, help to that. So first of all, in case you guys like my content and uh, you really want to support me, there is this the most simple way to support me is actually by subscribing. Um, I know that a lot of people are not subscribed and I know the pain, okay? So I, I really do understand you guys because I have the same uh, on mo many other places. Um, you, you're basically... I think your sub feed is already uh, pretty much filled um, and you only sub to your let's say five favorites or whatever um, and I'm maybe not amongst those five favorites which totally honest is, is absolutely okay and absolutely fine um, because you know if you're only here for the Planet Zoo content for example I, this makes sense that maybe you have some other content as well that you love and you just figure out on other channels which again is absolutely fine um, and I, I I think it's uh, very natural to have it that way but again um, in case you want to help me just give me that uh, little click on the red button um, the reason why I say that and why I focus so much on it is that just helps by nature uh, to push the videos out on YouTube so uh, they will appear in your sub feed they will appear in your um, in your feed 
maybe at some point if YouTube figures out uh, how to solve that you even get a ping if a video is live but uh, still I have a ratio of 3.2% uh, uh, notifications uh, for my videos which is just ridiculous if you consider um, the amount of people sub to the channel now um, this just equals an amount of 1.5 thousand people being notified that there's a video and then when you just kind of calculate in how many people just can't click right now because they have other stuff to do which again is totally fine and totally natural um we end up with an initial let's say potential of maybe well if we are very positive 500 people okay so that's the initial potential that get a get a click and uh, get a notification at the beginning so the more people sub obviously this initial little bit is better and therefore also more people click the video initially which then again um helps to push the video out um so that's the thing you know that's a simple explanation behind that. And obviously, um, the other thing about it is if you guys are not subbing, um, I have to basically rely on the fact that you always come back yourself uh, because otherwise it's just you know, me versus the algorithm, hoping that it just shows you the video again, which at the beginning works very well. If you guys find me for the first time ever and you watch like two or three videos, um, I'm guessing that the next couple of days uh, your feed is kind of basically um, spammed with my videos. But if you do not come back to watch, then YouTube is basically deleting it out of your algorithm because... It, it kind of marks my channel as not interested for you and or not interesting for you and then then I have a way harder time to get back into your sub feed. The reason why I talk so much about it is I had recently a lot of nice talks about this with people in live streams or also in the comments or in the Discord channel because I was just curious to understand how they found me and how they got onto the channel and many people still say that they have a hard time finding my videos uh, because they're just not shown to them uh, and again this is just down to the weirdness uh, of uh, YouTube, I guess. But yeah. Um, anyways, let's talk a little bit more about the Habitat now, about the fun stuff, okay? I just wanted to get this um, out there so you guys understand why I'm asking. Because again, I I do understand how annoying it can be uh, when when you talk about that all the time. It's like, for most of the people watching my videos, you guys are already subbed. You're the best people out there. You are already amazing. Um, <laughs> not saying the others are not, okay? So everyone is amazing. But just, you know, I can understand. But you have to repeat it. That's unfortunately how it works. Um, I would love to just make myself like a sticker on my forehead and then just film myself and just put it in the video. No, I'm just kidding, by the way. It's it is the way it is, okay? We, we live in it, we know it, we breathe it, and I, I still want to give you the best content available. But yeah, you can see I'm paying a little bit more attention here on the outside um, the first time in, in the entire build. And I do use a few techniques I've found uh, through ZooChat uh, research where I went into some crocodile habitats. I went into ZooChat just you know, for some park layouts and stuff. And um, I try to make sure to, to have one very dedicated viewing spot that is um, right across the side of uh, the underwater viewing and then most of the crocodile habitat is into the background where you can't really see it and this is exactly what I wanted. I want to give them a lot of privacy because the other chill area they have is to the outside to the inside and there you basically have the chance to see them and um, yeah today's video also is very interesting because this is legit the first ever video where I'm recording and there's not much more done than this. Actually, in fact, there is nothing else done than this over here. Um, this is the last thing I built because that was the last episode I recorded before I went into the winter project. And I'm hoping that tomorrow evening I'll be able to finally jump back into this dome over here to finish it properly. Uh, but as of now, um, you know, recording this, I hope at the time this is going to be released, um, it's going to be already uh, quite a little bit more ahead of time. But at the moment recording this, it is not and yeah, what you're seeing over here um, is something interesting. I will talk about that in the real time part a bit more because I got some good comments um, in the last couple of days actually from uh, people mentioning, because I asked about realism, um, that, you know, this is an open dome and uh, the kind of heat comes in and out, but things are going to change over here. So uh, I'm going to going to show you in the real time part. But because we are nearly at the end of the time lapse, I'm just uh, ending this talk over here and just pointing your attention already uh, toward the real time part a little bit, because that's going to be happening in a few seconds while we putting down some lights here, just making sure that, uh, you know, the underwater area is looking nice, especially night Time. I love the viewing in nighttime a lot more because the water seems to be just clearer. Uh, not the water, actually, the glass panels seem to be working better in nighttime. Anyhow, let's jump over in the real time part and let's talk about gates. 
All right, guys, there we go. We are here in the real time, but I know doesn't that look absolutely fantastic over here? I am very happy with how this turned out. And also I'm very happy with um, the fact that they do seem to love their habitat quite a bit. I'm just going to show you real quick. I mean, just look at that. Hey, this is this is uh, inch perfect. Kind of, you know, a tiny, tiny bit of rock would be needed, but that's about it. It is uh, very surprising, but I'm taking it, you know. And this is what I said. This is the outside area of uh, the crocodile habitat, and it's definitely the best area for it. You can see um, this is the education point where uh, our educator can talk you through what is important about the crocodiles, and then they have the wonderful inside area um, in here. And you can see there's the other one is just chilling in here. And as we have seen last episode, um, this is the underwater viewing. It is not as spectacular as the other stuff. You know, I might just put some other things in, just some education boards, but that is about it. Um, we could just put some plans in here to make it look maybe a bit better, but it's not like super interesting or whatever. But this is kind of how it is, you know, we have something here and then there's something else outside. But one thing that is a lot better is actually the viewing up. Hey, what is that though? I'm going to change this soon. Um, the viewing opportunity from over here. So this is where you can see most of the outside area. But since you have the... <laughs> this is just chasing after it. I think they got food, right? Did they get food? Why are they just storming over here? Oh no, there is no feeder down. I forgot that it's not working. It's not deep enough, so whatever. But um, you can see over here, you have a bit of a nice viewing spot. Um, this is like the security glass, and then you can watch over here to the other side. You can see them outside, but the animals are not annoyed. They are not annoyed by you. And then if you have a glimpse over here, there's a little chilling area. I made a fake door, um, which seems to be as if we have, if we would only have two entrances, that would be great, right? We don't have. And then and obviously they have their bedding down here as well so that they just go and um, up here we have a bit of a planter making sure there's also some backstage area in I didn't figure out where to put the gate I will potentially put it to the outside here um, and cover this entire area up so this is a bit nicer uh, hidden away and then it makes sense because you have an entrance here and an entrance here uh, makes the whole thing a lot nicer I guess and um, yeah, so this is how it looks at the moment. And now let's get into the talk about gates. Now, gates are rather important because I talked about the heat management. By the way, I found a solution for the heat management, uh, I guess. We will make like a little um, heater arrangement that goes alongside this area. And then we will basically have like a cooler arrangement that goes up here and also down here. So that basically the center point of the dome has somewhat of a let's say normal temperature and the outer areas get the temperature they need. I think it is a very realistic way of doing it. I checked out other domes that, um, I mean, they maybe not have that crazy bit of contrast over here because as you guys said, like having a separation in the middle is just not feasible. And therefore we are also going to change this, whoops, uh, this airlock down here. Um, in the lower part, that makes a lot of sense because you can control the heat there way better than up here, but down there you just can't. And so this is why the airlock is gonna go um, and we're making a nicer transition uh, to this area, in fact. Then what you guys also say to me, which is uh, totally nice, uh, to say and also right to say um these things like the kind of um what is, what is this even hanging uh, hanging metal ropes beams i don't even know how to call them um look pretty weird so i'm gonna give it like a very um specific and nice looking um kind of support structure over here um this is what i'm trying to do oh look at that the otters Mmm, getting some tasty fish. Getting some tasty fish over here. I love, did I say that I love the swimming down here? And I also love the other habitat in general. It's still one of my favorites. And actually you guys think so too, because it's the most watched video of the aquatic DLC stuff I did. So that's pretty cool indeed. But yeah, so this is how the dome will develop in here in the middle. And then I think heat control wise, that is how you should do it. And they will also get some panels to the outside to make sure that this happens. But one thing, that is obviously uh, very important while we watch this dude over here swimming for a bit, diving for a bit. One thing that's very important is the ability to close the doors. Now, over here, this is rather specific because the dome is rounded and that would cause some issues. So what I thought this could be is like simple 
a single elements that are actually three folded. So the idea is that they can just basically be moved upwards over here to be basically clinked in there. And then you can um, easily just switch them into each other. So to make sure that they are not going to fall over so that they are um, very much tight. And then you have also some kind of uh, structures to the right and to the left over here to hold it down. Um, just making sure that these things can all move up. You've got the little button over here to make sure that you click it and it goes. And we will also have a control center at a certain point. Um, so that is the idea about the crocodile habitat. That's a fairly simple solution. Then over here, this solution is going to be way easier. We're just going to build something in here like on the ground, which then just moves up and closes it off. And then, you know, this is like the inside penguin area to start them all. At this point in time, there are fairly many animals in this habitat so maybe they will get one opportunity here and the other opportunity would be in this housing over here so that would make sense as well i guess um, moving over to the seals they will also get two housing opportunities one being inside here and i already did kind of a little um, first hand solution but they will get something nicer over here as well as if they can move up and close the doors as well Maybe we're just going to make some sliding doors uh, this time. And then in this area, they will obviously have like a second solution. And this is where I'm going to exchange one of these gates with a bigger door, oh, like door with a bigger gate. And then we can uh, put a, another bigger building in the background where they can be stored in as well. The only little issue we will have is with our little friend, the Cayman. Um, in fact, it's not going to be that big of an issue because we have... Uh, there is like a little bit of a backstage opportunity where we could make a little door because in here there is a f fair bit of space where we can make also some backstage will be this bit over here will be uh, transferred into a backstage area so that will be then where the caimans can be stored into so the gate will sit somewhere in this corner so this is where they can be stored if they need to go inside and then the outside um, will be a double lock gate that moves down here to close off this area same goes for the others this will then close off with this moving down uh, or up um, basically it will move up um, because that's looking a lot better than down and then the same goes from over here um, they can just basically close off this door and then everything is locked um, and you know also um, I imagine if it's going to be colder outside uh, or heat, hotter, vice versa, you could actually close off the doors and, um, you know, just open them up again um, to reduce your energy costs a little bit. But this is something I wanted to talk about because um, that was a fairly good point that people mentioned in the comments that with all these open doors, the heat management wouldn't work anyway. So, yeah, I just, you know, I just want to have it in as a realism aspect, but we keep it open, ob obviously, because uh, making them close does not make any sense at this point so my god you're having stress don't you why are you just running that quick over here you are like a chill animal you're a relaxed animal you're not hunting right now okay you just don't need to run it's it's yeah, there's no reason for it okay there's no reason for you to run i'm still sad that i couldn't place the underwater feeder down here i think that would have been a great thing uh but yeah no it's it's not working i love by the way how gentle it just floats in the water here it just looks so cool on the water this is one of the best viewing galleries in this in this whole build i don't know guys it's just very very cool it's it's looking very good and yeah i love this with the rubble down here with the stones just in general get, getting um yeah getting just oops i just pressed the wrong button here uh getting a bit of uh nature in and just making sure this is in line with the more tropical vibe while it's still a bit more um it's not even tropical but at this point in time um this is kind of somewhat temperate mixed with tropical um even though these dudes need some more tropical stuff i guess but yeah do they still have like level one food by the way i just forgot to change it yes let's put them level three i think you you can't even tell the difference but still um, let's see what else is going on with you, food one. You're gonna get food th three as well as all the others. I forgot to, to change that all the time. Look, I love that you're chilling down over here. I saw that the animals were actually diving down here a bit more lately, and I've actually not changed a single thing, so I really have no clue why. But I'm just saying I'm taking it, okay? I'm just oh my god, have you <laughs> look at the prize. Because there's so many animals in there, I guess. But yeah, so this is it. Um, and let's see what the penguins can do. Penguin has already great food. Oh, wait, I did change that already. Cayman is the one I was missing out on, right? 
uh, our lovely friend the Cayman. There you go. This is the Cayman habitat. And you get level 3 as well. There you go. All done. Oh, there's just an airlock standing around. Animal has escaped. Well, that ha didn't happen in a while. Where is it gone? Oh, it's it's not escaped. Okay, that was like a little bug. Okay, well, that's it, guys. Um, this is all about um, the build so far. You can see here, this is how the nature shaped up a little bit. Again, I wanted to make sure it's all separated and you don't look too much into it. Uh, not a clue how I will do this because that's actually looking not good at all. I want to make like a little staircase out of it. I'm gonna make like a, a, a fake staircase, I guess. And I'll make like a little backstage entrance. But that is... Mainly it for today's episode, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did enjoy the video, and I hope you guys will have a good time as well. And also, stay safe, because that's very important, as we all know right now. So, stay safe, everyone. Have a wonderful time. And in case you liked the video, as always, uh, give it a thumbs up, whatever, subscribe to the channel. You know that you know that stuff. We talked enough about this today's video. So, have a good time, stay safe, and goodbye.